Matt Boyajan. I'm the Solutions Architect for Liquid Relapse, and this is a product that I'm very proud of called FlexApp. Now, what we have here is a destructive, non-persistent clone pool. There is no temporary scratch space. There is no persistent disk. There is no anything. As soon as we log off this particular system, everything is going to get fully destroyed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to log in using VMware View 4.6. We're going to log in using my standard account. Now, my standard account is very, very large. I have about 40 gigs worth of profile data attached to that account. Profile Unity is going to instantaneously load it up within about two and a half seconds. Profile Unity is also going to get rid of the Windows is creating your profile box when the machine first starts up for us. So we're going to log into this specific pool, and then we can get started. So we can see that Windows, we're using Windows 7, 32-bit specifically. This is not any fancy kind of hardware. This is just old 2.26 gigahertz Xeon processors. As you can see, Profile Unity loaded with under three seconds. My entire profile is available to me. And now we're going to start talking about FlexApp. Now, FlexApp allows us to bind user install applications to either persistent, non-persistent, physical, virtual, link clone images, whatever we want. Now, it's important to note that when we're working with user-installed apps, we don't want to change the way that users do things. We want everything pretty much the same way they are before because that existing user behavior is really something that we need to cultivate and capture. So here we have the Flex app Scratch Space, which I'm going to show you. And if we also go into C Program Files, we can see that there's really nothing present within this image aside from what is included with the operating system itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a standard install of Firefox. And as soon as we do that, we're going to see the standard Firefox install start. And immediately, these folders are populated in the FlexApp scratch space. We can also see that Mozilla Firefox is now powered by Liquid Real Apps. So we're actually intercepting these calls and making sure that a standard install will go where it needs to go within the FlexApp environment. So now we're going to install Firefox. And we're just going to do a standard install in the C program files area. We can immediately see that Firefox is present within program files, just as it normally would be within any other application installation. So there's Firefox right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to destroy this link clone. But you know what? Let's launch Firefox first, just to be sure. So Firefox launches, and I've got my web pages, and I've got my links and everything that I have in here. And that's pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to destroy this linked clone, completely destroy it. So we're going to shut this down. And VMware View is going to exit. And now we can open up the vSphere client. And we can see within a moment that the machines are going to destroy themselves that I was just logged into. But this might take a few seconds. <laughs> There it goes. So machine number seven just powered itself off. So we're going to minimize this again. And we're going to fire up the VMware view client once more. So we're going to log in as me. And again, I have a very, very large profile, 40 gigabytes worth. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the entirety of FlexApp. So I have a preceded environment of about 76 applications that we're going to instantaneously push to this non-persistent destructive link clone. So we're going to log into my non-persistent desktop. And Vue is going to provision that for us. And there we are. Windows is starting. Profile Unity is immediately going to interpret that, set up my profile, and there's my full-fledged desktop. Now, I still haven't showed you exactly how FlexApp works, so we're going to do that right now. So normally, when you run FlexApp, this portion that I'm going to start right now is part of your login process. But we're going to fire it up to show you exactly what we're doing with FlexApp. So FlexApp is there mounting our specific drive, installing all our applications, boom, four seconds. So we just installed 76 applications into an image in four seconds. Now these aren't easy applications. These are the applications that most users are going to want to have in their particular environment. So for example, Adobe Reader 10. That's a good one that most users are going to want to have. And we have my recent files and my settings, and all the things that Adobe Reader normally would do. In addition to this, 
We can see a lot of other applications that are very pertinent, FileZilla, which is also going to remember my password vault, my encrypted passwords, all the settings and sessions that I have stored within. So if we go to our site manager, we can very easily see that. So close all this out. And then a couple of other applications that I'd like to show you that I feel are very pertinent. Things like Dropbox, which is also automatically going to synchronize my two gigabyte Dropbox folder. And we can see that Dropbox has already started. And within about two seconds, it's fully synchronized in a non-persistent destructive link clone. And we can do the same thing with Firefox, our good buddy that we just installed a little while ago. And all these programs are actually present within C program files. At least the operating system is pertaining to them that way. There's a little bit of secret sauce that we, uh, we can tell you about a little bit later if you're interested in the product. And we also have some other very difficult problems, things like TerraCopy, which uses a driver, a service, as well as modifies the Explorer handle. These are all things that FlexApp handles natively. And finally, one of the other things that we still have to worry about within VDI environments is DOS applications. So here you can see I have the entire Sysinternals DOS suite loaded. And we can interact with these programs just the same way we would interact with any other DOS program. So we can do a who is, and who is just works, and we can do a sync, and sync just works. So again, just to show you that there's nothing up our sleeves here, what we're going to do is we're going to stop FlexApp right now, close out Firefox, which is probably going to complain because I should have closed it first. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we look at our DOS apps, we see that nothing's there. And if we go and we try to fire up something like FileZilla, we see that FileZilla is not there either. So FlexApp is designed to be a very simple, very fast, and very native approach towards user-installed applications within a non-persistent link clone environment or any other environment that you could use this particular technology in. Thank you very much for your time.